Hello, Cancers. It is the Sun Sage back to do your December 2021 reading almost to the new year. So I just want to thank you guys so much for tuning in, staying tuned in. Thank you for subscribing. Um, thank you for liking the videos, commenting, participating in the polls. Um, yeah, everything, sharing. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you. All right, let's get into it, Cancer. So this will be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. And those of you who are cross watchers connected to a Cancer, we're going to see what energies are coming in um, the month of December for you. Okay, so let's see what's going on in December for Cancers. Okay, these are general messages. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Cancer, what's going on? Okay, feelings. Okay, that's a very you <laughs> message. Um, very empathic. Ask for help. All right. Okay. 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 Hold on. Um, magic. Nice. All right. So somebody's manifestations are about to produce something really special here in the month of December. This can even be something like something you were wishing for, hoping for, for Christmas. Someone gets it for you or it, uh, you know, it's, it's something that you are surprised with. But I do feel here, um, you have a friend or a lover, somebody who needs your help or somebody who has come to you. Um, and I feel like as much as you want to help them, something is telling you to reach out to someone who can actually be of more assistance to them, right? They may need serious help here, not, you know, just a friend or a shoulder to cry on. So that's like a deep, serious message coming through. Yeah, hermit, right? Um, could be a Virgo friend or a Virgo lover, but I do feel like there's somebody here that, that wants your support and your help. Um, but I'm also picking up that like you can advise this person of somewhere or someone they can go to get exactly what they need. So that's a specific message. But let's get into these messages individually. Feelings. What do we have for cancers? Three of pentacles. All right. Um, Ace of pentacles. Okay. Both of these make a four of pentacles energy here. You guys have feelings about your finances right now. Um... Some of you are ready to move, okay? Some of you are ready to move. Um, I do pick up that somebody is going to be moving, um, not in December, but possibly in the new year or for, for in four weeks or four months or something. But there is a moving energy with this that I pick up. I also am picking up her feelings, the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. There's a relationship here where it feels like it could almost be a committed relationship, but it hasn't happened yet. Okay. Um, you may feel like somebody is playing with your feelings right now, Cancer. Why is this three of pentacles here? This, um, the magician. Yeah. You may feel like you're being manipulated by this person. Um, I don't feel that from them. Three of pentacles. Again, I feel like this person just does things their way and it's slowly taking them time to compromise and, and do things in a different way. Um, as far as this relationship is concerned, but I do feel like the magician is letting me know this person is wanting to commit her fine here. Yeah, confirmed. I don't feel like they're playing games with you. I do feel like um, they may not feel financially stable enough. Um, Taurus just has something similar. Um, and this is Taurus's energy. If you're connected to a Taurus, you may want to check that reading out. So there may be something like this. There's a long distance element. Um, somebody is in the military, somebody is, has a job that they travel a lot. And so they haven't really been able to put their, their full energy here, but I feel like they want to. All right. Judgment. Okay. Um, why is Hierophant here? The three of cups. Okay. So yeah. Um, sun, I've been getting a lot of this. And of course, this is celebration. We're in holiday season. So we're going to be seeing a lot of three of cups that don't have anything to do with third parties or cheating or anything like that. Um, I do feel like you have somebody who has kind of like a blended life. Like on the one hand, they are like a total party person. They are somebody who likes to be out with friends and, and, and drink and, and even smoke. But they also have a really spiritual side of themselves that you could be helping bring out. This person kind of wants the best of both lives. They want their social life and they want their life with you. Ace of Pentacles. But I do feel an energy of this person could be turning over a new leaf. 
um, maybe you have made a clear tower. There was a tower moment. Yeah. Maybe you have made it clear, you know, I can't keep going like this. Are you going to marry me? Are you going to commit to me? You know, I enjoy you, but I need mean something serious. Why is this tower here? Three of swords. Okay. Okay. So cancers, nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Some of you are tapped into your independent self. You're like, I don't need you now. You know, I do feel like you want this person, right? But it does feel like there was a false start in this relationship or a false new beginning here. And things kind of went left with the tower and the three of swords. Um, You may have thought you guys were like going to go to the next level and that didn't happen. So it feels like a major disappointment happened with this person. And yeah, the three of swords coming out now there could be a third party situation um the nine of pentacles actually comes out so you guys are dealing with somebody who possibly had a karmic a will of fortune here that they were you know the perfect partner with you hierophant they were giving you the perfect energy that magician showing up now they are looking manipulative and they also had a, a like a double life another life over here with the three of cups so a lot of you made the really harsh decision to detach yourself from this person um, to not give to them anymore emotionally. Um, but you do love them. You care for them. This is all showing up with feelings. So even if you're trying to tune them out, even if you're trying to go on about your life, your business, I do feel a strong desire to get back with this person or to have something with this person, but you're taking care of you first. Okay. So ask for help. Okay. Some of you are dealing with somebody that you can go to counseling with. Um, let's just ask for help here. Six of Swords, okay. Um, Ten of Wands, okay, yeah. This feels like stop stressing yourself out. There's a solution to this problem for those of you that are having problems with a person in a relation you're in a relationship with. There is a solution, okay? Six of Pentacles. You can both do this together. There's a teamwork vibe here. I feel like this person wants it with you and you want to have this relationship with them. Three of Wands here with the Six of Swords. So ask for help with the Three of Wands and the, I'm sorry, with the Six of Swords and the Three of Wands. This is that long distance energy that I'm picking picking up, right? Some of you could be dealing with somebody you don't see very often and you're like, I can't do it anymore. I feel like I'm single. Okay. Three of swords, nine of pentacles. I feel like I don't even have a partner. I feel like I'm taking care of everything on my own anyway. So there's something about this relationship that's giving off distance. Okay. Like there's a distance here. Um, and like you guys don't see each other as often as you would like, and maybe you're feeling like, okay, I can't do it, right? But the three of wands tells me that you are ace of swords here confirming that mess. Yeah, there's travel here, eight of wands. Somebody can't travel. It's a strain on finances to a source. So you have to make a decision. Stay in this relationship um, and compromise with the three of pentacles or make a decision to um, end this. And I feel like a lot of you are, are wanting to stay with this person, but um, the two of swords is like, it's a really difficult decision because there's love here. There's real love here. Why is this 10 of wands here with us for help? 10 of pentacles. Um, it's a financial strain on someone. For, for somebody who is in a long distance relationship, it is a financial strain for you to be in a relationship with this person and see them regularly. Um, hermit. So, um, it's too much. That's what I'm picking up. It's too much. That's why I'm saying ask for help, right? You, you can't deal with this alone. Something that's coming in in December. Remember, this hasn't happened yet. So this is a prediction for December that may not resonate for everyone. But Ten of Pentacles, the Hermit, there's somebody who's turning away from a situation, um, a family situation or a situation that felt stable. Um, it does feel like there was some sort of support there, but it also feels like there was some sort of financial strain there. Um, somebody has has had to stop buying clothes and shoes and um, you're not able to maintain your lifestyle the way that you may like in December. What is this uh, hermit? It's the high priestess. 
And then I got the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So this is some sort of a mental and spiritual attack that someone will be experiencing. And you're going to want help from a spiritual advisor or somebody who you trust and respect, who gives good advice. You're at a crossroads in your life, a lot of you. Um, cancers and in December, um, you're not, you know, you don't have to make a decision, but it does feel like you are, um, there's a relationship or a situation where you do need a break from so that you can make a clear decision about it. Okay. Asking for help is important, specifically in the middle of December. Um, yeah, the middle of December. Why is this magic here? Because this is actually a pretty decent message. Why is magic here for Cancers? December. Ten of Pentacles again, okay? Um, The Eight of Cups, all right? So somebody could be walking away. Somebody finds the strength to leave somebody, okay? Somebody finds the strength. That could actually be your person, Cancer. If they were dealing in a karmic situation, if they were sort of uh, had these third party um, dealing with you and dealing with someone else at the time, wanting their cake and eat it too, it actually feels like they make a decision to walk away from a home situation or somebody. You didn't believe that they were going to do that, but they actually do. It feels like they're choosing you yeah they're walking away five of cups because this is sadness and leaving the home leaving a structured situation um what is this five of cups it's for what they want so they leave someone else for you or they leave a situation to focus solely on you with the nine of cups because you are their wish fulfillment pisces energy is very strong here the moon at the bottom of the deck also aries scorpio gemini virgo Taurus, uh, Scorpio. Yeah, I said Scorpio. So yeah, um, whatever decision it was difficult for someone to make or whatever truth it was difficult for someone to speak, someone actually doesn't even say the words. They just silently walk out of a house or silently walk away from someone for you or the person that they want. What is this nine of cups, page of pentacles to have a new beginning with you? I, this eight of swords feels like this person still is going to feel some sort of bind to this other situation. Um, it's something they can't leave behind and picking up is possibly a child. Page of pentacles. Why is this eight of cups here? They want to come to you. Temperance. Sagittarius showing up. Why is that here? Six of cups. Yeah. They feel like you're their soulmate. There was some distance because this person had to make some decisions about how to restructure their lives. Um, if they were going to leave one household or one relationship and come to you. Nine of swords. This has been a lot of stress on this person. Nine of swords. That's why it says ask for help. This may even be for your person and not you, but somebody needed help, right? With this big decision because there are so many changes that are going to come in. Sagittarius season is here, temperance. So somebody's dealing with these feelings right now and it's going to carry over into December. The Empress, they're coming to you. You are the Empress and you guys may want to check out that Taurus reading for pentacles here. Um, some of you will hear from this person. I don't have a lot of money. I'm not in the best position. I may need to come live with you. That Ten of Pentacles showed up twice. So somebody may be needing to come live with you and they may need to do it rent free or they may... You know, say, hey, I don't have it right now, but I can come back. But this person feels like you are their soulmate cancer. And so the magic is in the month of December for you. Someone's uh, someone's circumstances take a big, drastic turn. And it actually looks like it takes a turn towards you. Um, and then you are in a position of um, sort of deciding whether you want to keep this person in your life with some of the things they're dealing with, or if you're going to be there for them and be supportive of them. Okay. Cause it does feel like they're going through a lot. All right. Especially financially, more financially than like spiritually, but that could be a case too, but there was some distance here and they want to get closer to you. So they start making a little bit of changes, but they do also feel like they're going to be a little bit needy as well. All right. So that is what I have for you, Cancers. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and I will talk to you soon.